are watching Global Daily Mirror News Alert. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. visited the Philippine Space Agency where he also chairs the Philippine Space Council meeting. During the meeting, PBBM emphasized the importance of each agency having access to satellite mapping. The president also visited the Phil's exhibit which showed the nation's various satellite technologies. The Philippine National Police will be deploying over 100,000 of its personnel amid the increase in volume of people in certain areas across Metro Manila. PNP Spokesperson Police Colonel Jean Fajardo said regional directors were already prompted to make necessary adjustments in deployment. PNP Chief Police General Rodolfo Azurin Jr. earlier said around 192,000 PNP personnel would be deployed to ensure the safety of areas where people will flock this Christmas and New Year's. Incessant rains triggered floods and landslides in the Bicol region since Sunday. Over 120 families were evacuated according to Gremlin Alexis Nas, the spokesperson for the Office of Civil Defense in Bicol. As of the latest report, about 62 flooding and two landslide incidents were monitored in Albay, Camarines Sur, and Camarines Norte provinces. Most locals affected were from the towns of Calabanga, Lagonoy, and Tinambak in Camarines Sur, and Vinzon's town in Camarines Norte. Nearly 40 villages in Camarines Sur's other towns of Magarao, Calabanga, Bombon, Tinambak, San Jose, Presentacion, Lagonoy, Goa, and Caramoan were also submerged in flood. As for today's weather, the sheer line of wind convergence causing rain clouds continues to prevail over the country. According to Pagasa, it is affecting the eastern section of southern Luzon. Meanwhile, the northeast monsoon continues to bring cool weather over most parts of Luzon. The northeast monsoon will also bring cloudy skies and light rains over Cagayan Valley, Apayao, Kalinga, Mountain Province, Ipogao, Aurora, Calabarzon, Oriental Mindoro, Marinduque, Romblon, Aklan, and Capiz. The shear line and a trough of a low-pressure area, meanwhile, will bring cloudy skies with scattered rains and thunderstorms over Bicol region, Eastern Visayas, Central Visayas, Caraga region, and Davao region. As for Metro Manila and the rest of Luzon and the rest of Western Visayas will also experience cooler weather due to the northeast monsoon as well as partly cloudy to cloudy skies with night rains. The rest of Mindanao will have fair weather with possible localized thunderstorms due to the trap of the low pressure area. Alessa posts video from Bali after postponing concert in Manila. At his scheduled Manila performance at the SMDC Festival Grounds for December 17, Alessa failed to appear. Alessa was supposed to perform at midnight, but later, around the time he was scheduled to perform in Manila, Alessa shared an Instagram video showing himself performing a DJ performance on Saturday in Bali. Although the date of the Bali performance is unclear, fans have taken to his comments area to ask why he bailed on his Manila audience. Alessa claimed in an Instagram story that he had no control over the situation. Meanwhile, Amber Heard agrees to pay Johnny Depp $1 million in defamation case. Johnny Depp and Amber Heard have settled their acrimonious defamation case, they said Monday, with the actress agreeing to pay her former husband $1 million over claims he physically abused her. In a post on Instagram, Heard said she was dropping an appeal against the $10 million payout she had been ordered to make by a jury because she simply cannot go through another trial. And that's the latest for this hour. Subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and visit www.globaldatingmirror.com. This has been Ice Martinez. Good day.